Okay, now we discuss how to identify the congregation of the Almighty. Now, since I've been talking about religious issues, I'm a responsible chap. Um, basically, when you do discuss religion, you inspire people and uh, they naturally, some people will see you as a guide of some sort. So for those that have inspired to have religious thought, uh, I will be a guide. Um, this is not a life I chose, but <laughs> I find myself involved. <laughs> I'm a lyricist, a lyricist, so you're lucky. Um, I'm one of those. Um, so basically, if I have inspired you, then this is a bit of guidance that might help you. Uh, I've also organized my videos into playlists, and uh, you can look at the religious uh, discussions that I've been having, uh, putting out there, um, if, if that's how you got into my channel. Um, so basically, uh, if you look at my videos, I appear to be anti-congregation, anti-gathering. Uh, the reason I'm like this is because you, you have a lot of infiltration. Uh, whenever people gather and centralize, you have uh, uh, agent uh, provocateurs, uh, people who turn up just to disrupt things and uh, they're only interested in money and influence. And uh, whenever a structure forms, if they can't influence it, they will destroy it. And if they do influence it, they'll turn it towards demonic worship or uh, some other nonsense uh, like that. So this is just for people who have been inspired by me to protect themselves against uh, those type of um, situations where you gather and congregate with people who do not have the most high foremost in their mind. Uh, so it's about fi how to find a congregation that you can be with it's not a lonely life there are congregations out there and the most most the most important people in your life will be total strangers out there uh, and this is how now there's six points to follow and if you are in a situation where all these six points have been met and you have ticked them off the list then you can be confident that you can talk about uh, or that you have discussed uh, or that you have been part of a congregation uh, that has been put together by the Almighty. Now, the first point um, uh, in terms of um, how to know or how to engage or how to find a congregation. Uh, you find yourself at times when your mind is preoccupied with thoughts of the Almighty. Yeah, When you're in that state and your mind is preoccupied with thoughts of the Almighty, yeah, uh, maybe you're out on, on the street, you're in the park or something, and you just start thinking about the, the, the Almighty and creation and so forth. And then um, the people around you, uh, people just start to come into your, your uh, surroundings. Let's say people are just out going, walking in the park, taking the dog out or whatever. And they're not there because they're there to gather. They're just there for day-to-day -day life reasons and so forth. Uh, and unplanned random reasons. Uh -huh. So if that has, uh, if that is happening, uh, and then a random unplanned event synchronistically happens in your surroundings, and everyone around you witnesses it. So let's say you're all out there. Some people are there eating ice cream. Some people are walking the dog or whatever. And then I don't know. Um, a tree falls and then bounces back up, for example. <laughs> Yeah, and you all witness it and you're standing there in amazement. Yeah, and obviously a discussion will start. Yeah, uh, you might start the discussion. You, see, you might start and say, wow, how did that happen? And so forth. And it, this discussion happens. A discussion concerning the synchronous event, uh, for example, that falling of the tree and any bus back up. Um, that discussion starts or is initiated by you. Uh, it must be discussed only where it happened in your current surroundings, only where it took place. Yeah. So the discussion starts and you must allow others to join the discussion. Yeah. And the congregation will grow and take form. This will be the congregation. You won't know it. You'll be involved in the, convers in the conversation in the moment. But afterwards, on reflection, this was the congregation. This was the congregation. Now, any acquaintances, uh, forgive my spelling, I haven't checked it, <laughs> and appointments made after you leave the place where the synchronous, synchronicity happened, are man-made, and you must not view them as congregations or gatherings of the Almighty. So after you see the event, you discuss it, and then you go about your separate ways. If you made friends, uh, if you want to carry on further discussions, these are 
things you're making, this is nothing to do with the Most High. Yeah, and uh, if they infiltrate you through that, uh, through the um, acquaintances and appointments you're making, that's entirely down, down to you. you uh, I would advise you not to make those acquaintances, but if you do happen to make them, just beware that they could infiltrate you that way. Yeah, and you must not regard any of those acquaintances or appointments as things to do with the Almighty. That's just you, your personal story, your personal friendships, and your development. Yeah, but whenever you want to gather and talk about the uh, the Almighty, it must happen in this way. Yeah, it must happen when you wake up one day and you just, or you you you're in a moment in your life and you just start thinking about the Almighty. People start coming into your surroundings for unplanned reasons. A random event happens. Yeah, you start discussing it. People join it. That's the congregation. That's how it happens. What you do afterwards, that's entirely down to you. Yeah, and uh, you should protect yourself. But remember this part here, number six. Whatever acquaintances and appointments you made, that was not down to the Almighty. They could infiltrate you that way. So be careful about what happens after you discuss the Almighty.